Hello everybody, this is Brian. And this is Janet. Welcome to the April edition of Around, Around the, the Lake. Lake. We are just outside of Mount Dora in the Sand Hill Blueberry Farms Blueberry Patch. One of our favorite places. I know, it's almost season and a great place to talk about upcoming events in April because we have the third annual Mount Dora Blueberry Festival coming, featuring all just local farms, blueberry farms, right here in Lake County in the area. That's right, and I think we have five, maybe six of them participating in this year's festival. The um, blueberry crop is becoming an important agricultural component in uh, Florida and Central Florida specifically. I understand that during the 80s when they had the big freezes, a lot of the citrus farms uh, froze out, went out of business, mm -hmm. and so they started planting the blueberry bushes, Right. and they seem to take very well, and they've developed them for Florida. And as you can see, it's gonna be a bumper crop this year. I found the farmer. All right, introduce yourself. Well, hello, my name is Melanie Rose. I have the blueberry farm out here in Casha off of Highway 44, Sand Hill Blueberries. The, the farm has kind of got different areas, and I know that you told us the flavors of some of the blueberries are different. Can you tell us how that works? Yes, that's correct. I have four different varieties of blueberries. I have prima donnas, jewels, emeralds, and Windsors. Emeralds seem to be the favorite of mm, most people. I love those. Yes, <laughs> they have a very good flavor to them. Prima donnas are very sweet. Windsors are huge, uh, a little thinner skin, but they also are very sweet. The jewels sometimes have a tendency to be a little bit tart, but a lot of people like those for their jellies and jams and pies. So yes, we have four different varieties, each kind of coming in at a little bit different time. And um, hopefully they'll last us through about the middle of June. During harvest time, we have uh, a convenience for folks if they would like to come out and bring a, their family. We have picnic tables and whatnot. It's a very family friendly uh, place. And if you uh, want to pick your own, you can. We also offer that we would pick for you and we would have ready picked blueberries. You can come right out, pick them up, take them home, put them in your freezer. So you're planning on joining us at the Mount Dora Blueberry Festival, correct? Yes, sir. So I certainly am. How many pallets or bushels or whatever you call it of blueberries are you bringing? Um, I would hope that uh, if all goes well, I would like to bring about 300 buckets with me. Ooh. So I'm hoping that this year you guys will <laughs> yeah. all come and see me out uh, at the Blueberry Festival. Well, we're looking forward to it. Thank you so much for your time. Well, and we thank you love so much. your farm. We'll see you uh, in a couple of weeks when yes, it's sir. ready to go. That's right. To pick our own. If you didn't make it out to the Mount Dora Spring Fest this year, you missed out on a great event. Some of the businesses are sponsoring rest areas so that you can walk a little bit, do a little bit of shopping, and then take a break. One of the rest area sponsors was the Whispering Winds on Donnelly Street. And this year, I went in, and look, check this out. I got this beautiful, kind of a crocheted shawl number. It has some buttons there, and it's actually yeah. 
it's, it's like a universal thing. It's got other buttons here and you can switch it around. I think you can make it into different uh, things oh. like this or you can, I don't know. Very cool, you, you have some options. Yeah, and you got your shirt there too. So they've got some cool things. They have toys there too, but they also have some things that you can wear. So make sure you check very, them out and support. Very the, comfortable shirt. Support the sponsors that sponsor mm -hmm. the rest areas that help the experience better for everybody. Okay, so. Yeah, I was thinking earlier it kind of looked like something that Clint Eastwood would wear in one of his uh, epic spaghetti western movies. In the community building, boy, we have had a string of monster shows, including Southside Johnny and the Asbury Dukes, Winona Judd, all tremendously attended shows. Uh, in April, the trend continues with the return of Brian Hoffman, who does the most incredible Red Skelton comedy routine that you will ever see. He channels in my thing. Oh, uh, it's pretty phenomenal. And that is a good, clean comedy, so it's good for the whole family. And it brings back memories for Grandma and Grandpa. If they're still around, you want to take them out. You guys remember Junior, the mean little kid? Yeah. Remember him? The other day, my mommy said to me, Junior, Junior, time to go to bed. The Sandman's coming. I said, okay, Mom, give me a dollar. I won't tell Dad. <laughs> the other day, I had a couple of uh, coyotes chase a couple of my rabbits under a haystack, and the one rabbit looks at the other, and he goes, <laughs> are we going to make a run for it, or are we going to stay here and outnumber them? <laughs> He said, we're making a run for it, you idiot. We're brothers. <laughs> also coming up in the Mount Dora Community Building is Orlando Transit Authority. Mm -hmm. So moving April 8th. Up a couple decades, I yeah. guess. <laughs> In addition to the community building events and the Blueberry Festival, the event you definitely want to make time for happens every Sunday morning in yes. Sunset Park in the Pedestrian Mall. We finally got the farmer's market moved to the downtown. And that, what happened? Oh, it's blown up. Yeah. It's awesome. It's so easy to get to now. And then, of course, the second Friday events are still rolling. Art Splash is getting bigger. They've got the street entertainers now. Movie in the park, of course. Uh, I don't know what that is, but to be determined. We'll put it on the screen for you. If I know, otherwise, <laughs> just show up. It's still a, a nice. It's a nice night to just mm -hmm. go out on that Friday after uh, the art splash. Just go into Donnelly Park, sit on the slope. It's free. Put a blanket out. Start watching the movie. If you don't like it, you can leave. That and then the uh, your pocket. pedestrian uh, mall on Fourth Avenue. Every third Thursday, of course, we have the Mount Dora food trucks mm -hmm. event sponsored by the Mount Dora Area Chamber of Commerce. So if you're tired of cooking in the kitchen, come on down and get yourself some delectable delights. From, from the food trucks. And they, <laughs> in Sunset Park, the chamber sets up some tables and chairs, so you can take your food there and sit mm -hmm. down, or you can take your food to one of the mm -hmm. local, like the wine shops, yeah. and they'll let you sit down and eat, and you can have a glass of wine or beer. They don't mind. Okay. It's all friendly, Mount Dora. So that about sums up the month of April. Yes, it does. It's All great right. weather, so mm -hmm. this is the time to come out and book a tour at tourmountdora.com. Uh, some of them sell out quickly, so make your plans now. Yep. Uh, so That's until it. the month of May, this is Brian. And this is Janet. We'll see you around, around the lake. lake. Check this out. If you do this, look at this. 